We have with us Prachi Thakkar. Prachi Thakkar is from the television and ad film industry. So let's all welcome her to the show. Welcome to the show, Ms. Prachi. The privilege is all mine. What was your journey like coming to Brahma Kumaris? Is this your first visit here or you've been here before? Oh, no, this is my first visit here. Okay. And it was just a coincidence. Uh, but it was a blissful experience, mm -hmm. very enriching. And it's given me a lot of power. It's given me the capability to look into myself, be more aware of my responsibilities, mm -hmm. not just towards myself, but also towards my loved ones. Because we're not here as just souls who live for ourselves. If we give, we receive. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's a journey. It's a process. We need to work on it. Right, right. And uh, I think uh, Raj Yoga Meditation gives you the power to work on it. Is your family also into Brahma Kumaris? I mean, are they, since you've been introduced like two mm -hmm. to three months ago, mm -hmm. um, are they also into Brahma Kumaris? Have they been introduced to the... My son uh, has a spiritual side to him, mm -hmm. which I'm very proud of. At this age, he really talks like a mature human being. Mm. He's very supportive, very understanding, very mature. So yes, he has also been attending Brahma Kumari classes and trying to understand the practical approach that they have. Mm -hmm. I've introduced my mother as well, mm -hmm. but she's still in the process. Okay. But uh, uh, yes, we are spiritually inclined towards okay. Brahma Kumaris. Um, since this is your first visit here, mm -hmm. what was your experience like? I mean, being in Bombay mm -hmm. and going to a center close to your house and um, you know being part of the Brahma Kumari there, as opposed to being here, which is like the headquarters. And we call this not only the headquarters, this is Baba's home. Mm -hmm. You know, you've come to Mount Abu, which is like yes, Baba's home. Yes. What was the experience like being in this environment? It was blissful. Mm -hmm. I guess that is what I needed. Uh, Bombay is a very fast city. And my kind of profession requires a lot of time, a lot of energy, and especially if you're a mother. It's like exhausting at times, very challenging. So when I came here, I had no expectations whatsoever. But it was a brilliant experience. Extremely positive, extremely mm -hmm. blissful and extremely enriching. That's very nice. So I really enjoyed every moment of it. Every moment. And your son has also been experiencing the same? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> He's just loving it here. That's the whole reason why I'm so happy uh -huh. that if my child enjoys it, I mean, that's the place for me. <laughs> would you take um, anything back from here? Or let me rephrase. Mm -hmm. What would you take back from here that you would bring to your friends and family and especially to your industry. Do you look at yourself as the spokesperson, maybe for Brahma Kumaris, where you can um, just, you know, because this industry is stressed no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of competition mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, stress. Do you think you can bring back some values and culture, whatever you've learned here, back to your profession? Oh, I would love to, to be honest. But I believe, and with time, I have realized that you can't really force anybody into anything. But yes, I would love to share my experiences because they're enriching enough for me. But yes, uh, when it comes to other people, uh, I would like to guide them, share my experience, but the rest is up to them. Mm -hmm. But yes, definitely my experience here is unique, which my friends who really understand spirituality, who believe, who have like-minded uh, thoughts like mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. would definitely like to benefit from it. Actually, um, you know, when you said that, um, one question crossed my mind. Um, when you grow in a different culture, like say, for example, if you live in the U.S. and uh, you are of the Indian origin, for example. Yes. Um, there is always a little bit of friction in the sense um, that adjustment period takes place. Mm -hmm. So when you were talking about that to me, I just realized that uh, being spiritual mm -hmm. in this atmosphere, how does that play into that atmosphere? Does it kind of set you apart? Or does it help you understand people better? Or it makes you feel a little different from the rest? Because in an industry which is so insecure, where you don't know what you're doing tomorrow, when you have a holiday, when you can spend time with your loved ones, and uh, when you're at the top and when you're at the bottom. There's no idea of what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, spirituality really helps you hold yourself. It gives you time to look into yourself what you want, where your peace is. Mm -hmm. So it gets you back to your original self. Okay. So whenever I feel stressed, whenever I feel lost, whenever I feel alone, the only thing I have to do is just close my eyes mm -hmm. and call for Baba. Mm -hmm.